Wasif Whiteley, how are you guys today? How did your Monday treat you? You guys ready for today? <clears throat> Yesterday was the cheese episode, but I had the art, so now the thumbnail, etc., is going to be reflective of yesterday's episode. I've kind of been doing that. When we make new art, I just throw it onto the thumbnail the next day. So we'll do the same thing today. We're going to make some new art. There's a couple things I want to do today. I don't know if I'll get everything in. <clears throat> but I'm going to get started early while people trickle in. I didn't make another cup of coffee. Gosh, I should go do that. That's fine. I usually wake up and have a cup of coffee and then I make another cup right before the stream. Or at least I have it ready. You started germinating some chilies yesterday. That's great. I've been saving seeds. I've got a box and I have different peppers. In here, different pepper seeds. Can't really see it very well, but I've got hundreds of pepper seeds from different kinds of peppers that I've harvested. All of these seeds are either seeds that I've picked out of uh, store-bought seeds or seeds that I've grown myself. So I've got uh, Enjoya Bells. I've got... Um, I should buy some Yellow Dragon Cayennes that I used to grow two years ago. <clears throat> Video output low? No. <clears throat> Hello there, Nightmare, Mike Kima. I hope the stream isn't dying so early. My ISP. Stream resumed. At least it didn't conclude the stream. Not a powerful start, but whatever. I hope it doesn't keep doing that. Let's get started anyway. <clears throat> Yesterday's episode, we made the items for the enemies. We made our drop items. <clears throat> so all of our current items have three... All of our current enemies have three drop items. We don't have the skills for the Chimerico still. That's what we were supposed to do yesterday. We made one. We didn't assign it. We make an animation for it. Let's take a look. We did not. So let's make an animation for that.
That'll work. <clears throat> Where are the custom animations from? These are Hatesons. I wrote him and asked for permission. He said, go for it. We were supposed to do a collab event a while back. I don't know what happened. He was supposed to send me some kind of script or something, like, like or at least plan of what he wanted. Maybe we'll still do something like that. Because he's got a lot of really good art packs. These are his old ones. He's got newer, better ones than these. These are just the ones that I'm, I can use for free. I think this is a good looking one. Kick back. There we go. Very nice. <clears throat> Can you make a video on how to create a dinosaur RPG, please? Dinosaur RPG. Uh, I don't know if I could do that, you know? It's took too much time. Maybe though, maybe. Let's see. The premise <clears throat> for the dinosaur RPG is you have to eat other dinosaurs to survive and you have to run around on man stream resumed my ISP is not having it today I apologize I keep seeing it say stream complete I'm like no no it's not <laughs> no it's not uh, we made a skill, we need to award it to our enemy. Tumerico, you have a skill. Your basic attack, it's called Kickback. It has custom animations and all. We need to award that, don't we? Yeah, we need to. We need two more skills. Yeah. Let me get these two skills made. We'll talk about dinosaur RPGs in the meantime. Okay, Zaymin! Doing what I can. I 
Thank you, Skepsis D. Good morning, Sugar Zuzu. How was Monday for you? How was how's your day going so far? It is being night here. Where do you live, Ikumin? Like what country? In India? Well, I hope your night's going well. We're gonna make another skill for the Chimerico called Liquid Breath. <clears throat> and we're gonna make it like this blue color. Deal. Maybe corrosive damage. Yeah. Deal. Corrosive damage to the enemy party. This will be the MP costing ability, so that the so it can only do it once because it's going to be a damaging. Very powerful. This is our level nine or eight? This is our eight, right? Level eight enemy. So it's going to cost eighty MP. Live game cheese working on cheese? Yeah. Well, not really. We're not going to work on cheese too much. But yesterday we did, right? And now I have all the artwork for today's video because I make my thumbnails every morning. So since I had the cheese icon being added to the thumbnails, I thought I would uh, complement that with more cheese because you can never have too much cheese. HP damage corrosive to the party, A dot ATK times 3 plus A dot, we'll do our intelligence, MAT, plus our agility, A dot AGI, <clears throat> which is really just attack times 5 at this point, but if I change the stats around, I want to have something to do with that. So B dot DEF, which will be our endurance, but also the player speed, B dot AGI. It's mean, it's a powerful hit. You died yesterday at the live stream. You were so drained from working on your game. Well, don't die today, Heartless. I need you around. You can create character of dinosaurs, create some early humans and creatures like enemies. Ikumin, it sounds like this is something you should be making. Not me. You have all the ideas on the dinosaur game. I'm glad you feel better, Carlos. This is going to hit all enemies. And because of that, we don't need to really have a sequence. But it's a simple deal damage to the party. We've been doing lots of different strategies. We haven't done anything that's just going to be like, bang, everybody take damage. Except for at level 3, we had the fox do something like that. So now we're at level 8. We'll have the chimera do that. The sun's coming out. It's great. I hope that means the internet stops being spotty. I cannot make character animations. How to do it? Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do today's sprite will be a dinosaur. How about that, Ikumin? I'll show you how to draw the best dinosaur in the world. Absolute best dinosaur, can't be beaten. Let's finish making the skills. I've been trying to do this for several days now. Simple, simple skills.
yeah, make it a post on your YouTube. That'd be great. You can even advertise it in my Discord here. Discord, just go to self promo and then put your, your video here or live stream or just if you want to show off your art, you can do that in several channels here. Cool. Links in the description below if you want to do that. Liquid breath, let's give it to the enemy. The Chimerico. We have to make an animation for it. It's going to have <clears throat> rating of 4. It's very strong. Awesome, you just joined right now? Well, let's see if you have... Hmm, I don't see any new members. Unless I gave you a member this morning. Because you'll join as a white text, and then I have to award you a member. <laughs> I joined! Oh wait, sorry, joining! <laughs> it's cool, you come in, it's cool. To post links and pictures, you have to get the member tag, that's why. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Let's make an animation for a liquid breath. Let's go with like a water attack, right? How about this? This is on screen, so here we go. Let's go with this one. Paste this. Is there a new water? Here we go. I don't know, the original water looks better. Two, three, four. So let's push everything plus three frames. So let's take this and go one, two, three. One, two, three. What are we calling it? Liquid breath. Okay, let's give this animation to the skill. Yes! <clears throat> yeah, that sucks. Sorry, Heartless. Sorry, everybody. I don't know what I can do about it besides get fiber optic when it's available. Silver, how are you today? <clears throat> Hey, Ikumen, I see you. Hey, guess what? Now you're a member role. Now you're blue font, and you can post art and stuff. <clears throat> okay, we've got two. Just got done making all your health items and spells. Cool. Uh oh. There we go. Do 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 do. Wow wow wow. We need one more skill for our Chimerico. It is part goat, part lion, part snake? Or is it like wyvern? Royal, what's up, my dude? How you doing, Royal? RCC, the one and only Royal Crown Code. <clears throat> Hope you're having a good day. <coughs> 197 right now. Yeah, the stream's been going down. I've that my internet's real spotty today. It's it's gone down like five or six times already for like thirty seconds to a minute. 
I don't know what to do about it, you know. One more skill for the Chimerico. Something for the the snake bite. Yes, Iku man, we are friends now. You make dinosaur RPGs, you're my friend. I want to see the progress you make on your dinosaur RPG. I want to run around as a Tyrannosaurus and, and eat other dinosaurs. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Or like pick the Triceratops and just do other stuff. Isn't a Triceratops a herbivore? You can make a game. Oh, check this out. It's an old Nintendo, Super Nintendo game called Evo. I think Evo? Anyway, you start off with like this little tadpole in the ocean and you have to like somehow level up your your genes and and you have to like evolve and you're, you can make your creature evolve over time like uh, What's the other game the real big hyped one I bought the collector's edition when it came out. I was like Spore I was really hyped for Spore and I was like this game's gonna be the best game ever blah 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 Turned out it wasn't. It was okay though. I mean, it was all right, but it was overhyped and underdelivered. But it was really, really good, fun game when it first came out. It just didn't quite meet all expectations because it was super hyped. You should make like a spore version of RPG Maker game. That would be awesome. I would totally play that. So let's make a. Uh... We'll make Wyvern Venom. Or Wyvern Strike. Tail Strike. Tail Strike, because the tail's the snake, right? We could call it Tail Bite as well, but that sounds like something different. Yeah, that'd be cool. Make a modern Evo. It'd be super cool. It may have been on Sega Genesis. I don't remember. Super Nintendo or Sega. It was a while ago. I played it on an emulator when it, uh, when I first figured out what I could play game Super Nintendo games on my computer. Way way back. I think it was on like ZSNES or something. Some artwork. Let's go to RPG Maker MV. Natural Explorers, IMG, SV Actors, and Find In, Find In, and find the actual icon we need. <coughs> it should be inside the Enemies tab. We'll just copy it. Chimera dash red underscore orange. So we can paste that in our search here and just find it instead of looking through hundreds. Boom. We've got that, right? Let's zoom in and make a selection of this head right here. Oh no, don't accidentally right click. I guess that's fine. We'll copy this. Let's create a new. 32 by 32, zoom into that, control space and left click, and paste in here. Doesn't have the same desired effect, does it? <laughs> okay, let's undo that paste. Let's go more like this. Copy that. Maybe we have to close this without saving and create a new 28 by 34. Paste it in, this, in its exact dimensions. Looks better. And then we can resize this by going image size and change it to 32 by 32. 
definitely makes it look not as good. If we zoom out, does that change it? You know, when we zoom out enough, it kind of looks closer. We need to delete the background layer. But we can take this, copy this 32 by 32, and then we open up our IMG system icon set.png and we can zoom in and go to the bottom and select let's turn on our grid and select just this box and paste it in there and then we can save this overwriting the icon set that we already have make sure we select png do you want to overwrite it yeah i do so then, when we hit OK, save the game, open the database again, it reloads the JSON, knows what to look for, the new image, we go to Skills, and Tailstrike is reading as this. So now we have an icon of Tailstrike, and then this is our icon. It looks okay. It looks okay. Wow. Viper ring tail. We can call it that. Viper ring tail. This was a chimera asked by you anyway, Charles and Nico. That's why it's called a chimerico. <laughs> your special request. I'll put your, your thing in here. <clears throat> Sorry for the spotty internet. I mean, doing the best I can with what I got. It's usually better than this. This is going to cost 30 TP, and Kickback is going to create 15. So this will be precedent of five as well. It'll be a tech, one enemy, battle screen only. a rapid strike that leaves the po the target poisoned 50% of the time. <clears throat> you created a dinosaur, Ihu man. That's awesome. It's called Galimimus. Galimimus. That's really cool. We got Viper Intel. We need to make an animation for it. Let's do that. We'll take this flash one. Get rid of all the screen flashing. Change the art. Change these sound effects. We don't need a third sound effect. I think we'll get rid of that as well. <clears throat> there we go. Viper Reed. A raptor with a long neck. Creating a hybrid raptor. Hi, it's a me. 115, Shadow Fit 115, how are you today? How you doing? We made our third skill 
we just have to, oh, we're not done yet, we need to make it have a state as well. We're doing corrosive damage with the liquid breath, kickback is physical damage, and the viperine tail can do, we'll have it do chaos damage. So this is going to be a.atk times 5 minus b.defense. And it can have critical strike. I kind of need to make Liquid Breath not have a physical stri uh, critical strike because it's going to hit everybody already. It could be too strong. Can I teach you how to make a quest? You know I have over 300 tutorials, right? I think I've done this one before. I can though, I can. Let's do that, very simple. But first, let's finish what we're doing. We'll do a quick dinosaur quest. Did we award the animation? We did, let's give the skill to the enemy. With a rating of five, because it requires TP to use. Yeah, that'll work. And we finished our Chimerico, finally. Wow, it took a long time to do that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and show Ikumin how to make a simple quest. We'll make this fast. So on our map, <clears throat> you can have your quest giver. If you don't want to have an NPC for your quest giver, you can make it an auto run event. Let's make it a quest from the beginning of the game. Let's do something like that. So when we come out here, this is gonna be our quest giver, okay? We're gonna name our events so we know what they are. This one is going to happen automatically, so we're gonna to go to trigger and we're gonna say auto run. As soon as this happens, as soon as the player gets on this map, the quest is gonna start. So we're gonna auto run an event and it's gonna say, you must catch and eat all the other dinosaurs right that's the quest we'll put it in the, the middle of the screen so the player sees it and then at the end of this we're going to turn on a switch we're gonna make a new switch so go down to a number you don't have already and I'm gonna use 62 catch dinosaur catch dino switch and we're gonna turn that switch on because the, the player now has to catch dinosaurs and we're gonna do one more thing this is important don't forget this part we're gonna click new and then we're going to set a self switch so we're gonna control a self switch we're gonna turn that on and now we're gonna click at the top part where it says new event page so we have two pages and how these multiple pages work is it's always going to try to load the highest number, right? So it's going to look on page two, and if we don't have anything in conditions, it's just going to be blank and invisible, and it's not going to have anything. So we need to set up our conditions. So we'll click on self switch A, and at the beginning of the game, self switch A for this event isn't on. So it's not going to read this. It's going to go to the next page and say, can we run this page? Well, there's no condition, so yeah, it's going to run that page. So at the beginning of the game, when you get on this map, it's going to say you must catch and eat all the dinosaurs, turn on a switch, and turn on a self switch. Then, after the self switch is on, it no longer uh, is going to run this because it's checking page 2 before 1, and self switch A is now on. So this is how you get rid of the auto run from locking up the game. And this will be not auto run. The second page is just action button. Or you know what we can do? It's easier to do it with two events because then you don't have to cycle through pages. So this is a very simple auto run. The player has the quest now. So then you can make your dinosaurs that run around and the dinosaurs won't be here until the quest starts. Now obviously you can change this up to be whatever you want it to be. I don't have any dinosaur sprites, so we're gonna have to settle for this guy with wings. 
And in order for this guy to be here, catch dino has to be on. So this guy won't be here until catch, catch dino is on. And he's gonna run around in a random way, kind of fast. <clears throat> but if the player is able to catch him, you caught and ate the dinosaur. Bang. And what it'll do is turn off that switch. You could also use variables for this. Control switch, catch dino is off. Now when you activate him, catch dino will turn off so he'll disappear because his conditions aren't, aren't there anymore. And then we can have a second called quest completer. And we can also control a variable here. So we're gonna do variables in this tutorial too. So what we're gonna do is count the number of dinosaurs we caught. Dinos caught. So when we catch him, we're going to create a new variable, call it dinos caught. We're gonna add one to it. And we'll do this before the switch actually. It won't matter, but we'll do this before the switch. And then we turn the switch off, making him disappear. So on the quest completer, it's going to check to see if catch dino is on. Well, actually we don't need that. What we can do is check the variable. Let's check the variable. So it's gonna look for the variable and see how many dinos you catch. And if you've caught more than one, then something's gonna happen. We'll make this auto run event. <clears throat> and it won't happen until we catch all those dinos. And what do we want to happen? We'll make text saying, congratulations, you caught all the dinos, right? And let's say we need to catch two of them, not just one, but two of them. So what we can do is copy this thing now And what we can do is add a new page, because if we had two, it's gonna be different, right? We turn catch dino off, it's gonna make them all disappear. We don't want that. So what we'll do is make a new event page conditions that looks for self switch A. And instead of catch dino turning off, we'll turn self switch A on. And this page is looking for self switch A. So now we're just using a variable and a self switch. So when you, if catch dino is on, then, and you, and you actually talk to this creature, you catch the dino, you catch the dino here, you're going to get one to your variable and turn the self switch so this thing will disappear. And we can cut, now we can copy paste that. So we copy paste this guy and paste him over here. We have two dinos we have to catch. Right? And they're just adding one to the variable when we catch them. So we have our controller that turns on a switch and says you must catch all the dinosaurs and then the switch self switch A is on. And once the controller turns these dinos on, they'll be here because they're switch conditions. And then we, if we catch them, it'll run this because these are not auto run, right? We have to find and catch them for them to, to actually you activate. That's the trigger. So let's test this out and see if we can catch these dinosaurs. Yeah, it's not you guys, it's, it's my internet. It's been, I think it's dropped several times already. Sorry about that. I'm gonna upgrade to Fios. Verizon fiber optic. It'll be, I think a couple more weeks before it's here. See the message popped up, we must, cast, must catch all the dinosaurs. And now we have to catch them. We caught one, you caught and ate the dinosaur, yum, and it's gone. But but we didn't finish the, the thing yet, right? So let's catch the second one. You caught and ate the dinosaurs. And now that we've caught all the dinosaurs, <clears throat> congratulations, you caught all the dinos. And it's repeating over and over, we need to fix that. 
So on our quest completer, we need to make another switch. We'll turn on self switch A. I'm going to go through the whole thing again. Take care, Shadow. Alright, Eco, from the top, we have this event, two pages long. It says you must catch all the dinosaurs. It's an auto run. It turns on a switch catch dino and a self switch A. And then it to a action button. Very simple, right? And this is the condition, self switch A. Then you have your quests. This is your dinosaurs. You have the switch catch dino on and you have the trigger. It dropped again. It's just not letting me stream today. It's just not letting me stream today. This is so frustrating. I don't know what to do about this. I hope there's enough in here, Ecomin. Do you get the idea now? Sorry for the stream dropping. I know that makes it frustrating on all of us. Anyway, when you catch the dinosaur, it adds to the variable and then turns the switch. That's cool, Ecomin. That's really cool. Thank you for doing that. Anyway, you can award gold or whatever you want at the end. Make sure you add the second page that's not auto run so that it doesn't repeat. And let's take a look at our quest now. Here's the basic quest, right? Very, 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 very basic quest. We enter a map that auto runs an event. Hey Devin, Daryl Sanford, how you doing? It we get the quest thing saying you must catch and eat all the other dinosaurs. Then the dinosaurs spawn after that. And if we capture them, it adds one to the variable. You, you caught and ate the dinosaur, but we didn't win yet because there's more dinosaurs to eat. And then we catch the second one. You caught and ate the dinosaurs. And now we've caught all the dinos and we win. And we got gold. And you can show a message that the player got gold too. But that's basically it. All right, so I'm gonna delete all these now because I don't actually need this in my game, but it's just a tutorial for you. And I'm going to change the variables to remove the dino's cot because I'm not using that. And the switches to, oops. Okay, I need to get back on track now. Hopefully that helped you, Ecomin. We do need to test, battle test the enemy. So we should do that. Let's start the party at level eight and battle test. Tomorrow I'm gonna lower the bit rate. I mean, I have 10 megabit per second upload and I'm only using five, but I'm gonna drop it to four and see if that doesn't affect the quality too much and maybe it doesn't drop me as often. It's very, very um, archaic. I will need to set up a battle though. Let's do that in the dungeon. This is seven, copy this and paste this to be eight. Devin asked how to add a weight mechanic. 
gotta think about that. I think there's plugins for that, but is there a way to invent that? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to think about that while I'm testing this. Heartless, are you using the most recent 1.6.1 uh, and the most up-to-date uh, Yenfly Battle engine core? If you're using that, it may be fixed now, but forced actions have been messed up for a long time. Nice, the Chimerical looks awesome. I need to move him down a little bit though. And the troops, like that. No, no, not that one, this one, like that. And like that, that one's way too high. <clears throat> but this is fine to test him. Tail? Oh, we need to change that, right? That needs to be the animation on that needs to be different. It's not screen, it's going to be probably head. Fixing two things here, nice. Really bad internet today, really, really bad. The worst it's ever been on, uh, on this network so far, like for my live streams anyway. It's, it's been terrible. I can quite often say that it's, it's okay, like sometimes it drops for a few seconds, like maybe once or twice per stream it'll do that, at, you know, at worst, but today it's been like 10 times, it dropped me like 10 times. Is there a reason why you'll stop working it, on it on your birthday, Ikumin? It seems kind of arbitrary. Let's let's look at our uh, the differences that we made. We moved the sprite around. We changed the icon. That's what I was referring to, Kima. Yanfly uh, said something about fixing that not too long ago. So definitely need to update to the most recent. <clears throat> if you really need them to be working. I've stopped using forced actions, but since they've been fixed, I may uh, think about doing stuff with them again. You're gonna send me a video on that? Okay. Just put it on self-promo so everyone can see it. No problem. Yeah, the Chimerico looks better standing like right here instead of up here where the snake's head is getting cut off by the text. So that works better. I can actually bring them down and forward a little bit more. Let's, now that we can get a frame of reference, let's do that. Enemy troops, Chimerico a little bit down, forward like that, might be better. Cause it's a big spray, it's pretty big. Let's test the animations though. Should you put it in Discord? Yeah, put it in self promo, you come in. Devin ask it again about the weight mechanic. I'm thinking about it Devin, I don't, I don't. The, the thing I had in mind was Yanfly's um, item core make it everything take up its own slot, right? But then that there's a problem with that, and that is everything weighs the same. Everything weighs one, right? With the weight mechanic, it becomes complicated because every time you award an item to the player, you have to check to see if they can hold it. 
And if they can't, what happens then? Does it go into like a storage? You have to make a storage system for a weight system too then. It seems like unnecessary complication, but I'm interested in, in trying to figure out the challenge. And I'm thinking about it. I don't have any solid solutions to it yet. There is liquid breath. Nice! I like that! That was a good effect. The animation worked beautiful, the sound effects were on point, and it hit the party. I got my pet system going with a total of three pets in the party and three human members. The first will be a slimy, then the second is a bone dog, and the last is a fox or a cat. Cool! That's awesome, Silver. So wait, the party... It's a party of three characters, but they all have a pet, too, so it's not like a party of six. Or can they summon a pet? And is it like a Final Fantasy IV style of summon, where you summon it and it does extra attacks? Or is it like you summon it and it can fight for you multiple rounds? You named your game Dinoble, like edible. I like it. You run around and eat dinosaurs. It sounds... Just make sure you put some sort of progression system, because Evo had a really good... Um, like, your character felt like you were getting stronger and you were evolving, so it's important when you're making a game to give the player a sense of progression, that they're... They started out, like, kind of weak, but then they get stronger and stronger and stronger. You gotta think about how you're gonna do that, too. Iku. How do you make the player feel stronger? Maybe you have dinosaurs roaming around the map that are bigger than the player, even if their graphics aren't bigger. And you can have the, you can have it tell the player, you're not big enough to eat this dinosaur, so they have to come back later. And then that would be a one way to easy way to make it feel like there's progress, because now they, they first they couldn't eat this dinosaur, but now they can. Or maybe you add some sort of point system to where it adds to a variable, or you can give currency. You can make the gold um, evolution points, and you can just use the award gold function for evolution points. That would make it very easy, actually. How to make a dino changer? Oh, I know how to do that, Eco. Whiteley says he's going to his, his his or her first game dev meetup tomorrow. They should be accepting RPG Maker devs. And it's kind of lame if they don't, right? Because even making an uh, RPG Maker game, you have to do game dev stuff. You got to make art. You have to learn how to event things. You have to learn about auto runs and parallels and like um, order of operations and how to make sound effects and like making a game no matter what engine requires a lot of skills a lot of different software knowledge like if all you know how to use is RPG Maker and you don't know how to use Audacity you don't know how to use any Photoshop or any GIMP or any Blender, or any um, other DAWs, or um, even use like any IDE. If you don't know how to use anything, then I can understand why they wouldn't like want you to be part of their team or whatever. Because just RPG Maker alone is probably not enough to make a good game. But if you know how to use some basic Photoshop skills or basic GIMP skills just to edit some sprites and RPG Maker, well then you're more of a game dev, right? Because you can make, resize some sprites or Franken edit or make your own even. Okay, Zayman, welcome back. Can you tell me how to do that? When we grow up, we change into different dinosaurs? Sure. It's pretty easy. You make multiple actors. Right? So you have a dinosaur that you start with, could be this guy, and then you have a new character, this is called Dino 1, then you have another character, this is after the, the dinosaur's leveled up, and now 
he's got hair or whatever, you know. You'll have your own artwork for that, right? Yeah, we made a Chimera and we made the skills for it too. And it's done finally. So this is going to be Dido 2. This is a simple tutorial on how to do a uh, level up progression um, by changing the image, right? Change into a different dinosaur. So at the beginning, you start with Dino 1, but then after you do something, you become Dino 2. And you would just set up an event that would, um, however you're doing it, right? We just did a tutorial. So take that last tutorial I showed you and check that variable, the, the Dino level or the Dino's caught variable, right? How many Dino's? And if, there, if it goes to three, then you can do this command. You go over to change party members. It's on tab one. And you are going to add Dino 2 like that. And you're going to do the same thing, change party members, but you're going to click on remove Dino 1. So when you get that certain event, when you catch, in sti catch enough dinosaurs or however you're handling the level of progression, you do change party member. So you take out you, you add the second one they're becoming and you take out the one they were. So now the player is playing as a different dinosaur and they're leveling up. Does that make sense? It's pretty easy, huh? I made song lose concentrate. Devin says, I'm making a crystal ore type thing. How would I do a reflect effect? Basically bounce back the damage. Doesn't Yenfly have a tips trick on uh, reflect? Let's have a look at it real quick. Yenfly.mo. Let's click on here, tips and tricks. It takes us to our playlist. Let's press control F. And find uh, reflect. Nothing. There's nothing on reflect. Let's go with uh, uh, RPG Maker MV Reflect plugin. Maybe there's a plugin for it. There's element reflect, that but you're talking about reflect the skill, right? Sky reflection. Often when you have a question, you should search for RPG Maker MV and then type in what you're looking for and you'll probably find some useful tutorials. Yanfly has a lot of tutorials, Echo has tutorials, SRD has a lot of good tutorials, I've got over 300 tutorials, so there's resources available. Um, let's, I think maybe Yanfly's Reflect. Um, it's in his Element Core, right? So let's close this. Let's look in Element Core. Do I not have it? installed yet. I think I have it um, in the directory. I don't, I may not have put it in the game yet, but now's a good time. Yep underscore element reflect element core. So maybe if I do it, control F, no, it doesn't have a find function here. You know what would be cool if the devs are listening? I doubt it, but anyway, someone can tell them. Um, add a search Control F function for the help files so that the players can, can press Control F and a little thing can pop out right here and it'll say search for something and then it can jump to whatever you're searching for. That would be super cool if they had something like that. I bet we could custom make one with the buff states core. But Element Reflect would do this. Element reflect. Increase or decrease the rate of a reflect element X by Y percentage. If a skill or item has multiple elements, the reflect rate is added for each element used by the skill or item. So maybe you would have this would go on an actor, a class, an enemy, a weapon, an armor, or a state. So if you're giving a state, you can put this, uh, what did you call it? Crystal something. 
crystal ore. You can have the crystal ore state apply this reflect element. So you can do this. And what you would do is select the element number and then the percentage. Now this is very specific on that type of element. Maybe you're thinking reflect all skills, right? So if you're thinking all, oh, you could also do it with this. It would kind of work, but not on all states, only for elements. You just want it to reflect all damage and this will work perfect. Make a state called, let's do it. I'll show you how. So element is the X and percentage is the Y. So we can take this note tag, element core goes somewhere in the bottom. Oh, I already have it on. Look, it's already on. What am I doing? I don't need to have it twice, I'm gonna have a problem. Element core, right there, great. So we make a state and call it crystal or whatever. I'm just gonna put reflect, reflect elements. Reflect, or elemental reflect makes sense. Elemental reflect. And I'll make it look like a mirror or something. It's arbitrary. Um, remove it in the battle, doesn't matter. We'll say turn in, it's gonna last for five turns. Dang it, five turns. In the note tag here, you can put element reflect, and you would probably not do one if one is your physical, right? So you would do two, and then it would be plus 100%. And you could have multiple instances of this, and you could paste it like this for every element. There may even be shorthand, because Yanfly does this sometimes, where you can put element reflect two, and then type in a space, and then TO space, and then the next number. I don't know if it works like that specifically for element core. Yes, it does. Okay. Elemental reflect. But well, maybe not on elemental reflect, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't work on doesn't appear to have this note tag like this, something to this. So you would do it like this. Element two, element three, element four, element five, element six, element seven, etc. for every element you have. And this number is reflecting inside of your types, right? Not physical because that would be physical damage reflect and they become invulnerable, but two, three, four, five, six, seven for me would make it work. As a matter of fact, I'll just leave this in here to test it out later. And I'll probably make a state animation for it as well. State animation. Uh, I'm gonna do 155 for now, so it doesn't crash or anything, but let's make a state for it. I'm gonna copy this, go down to here, paste this and call it LM reflect state anim. You want it to reflect all damage, then you can even have it to reflect physical if you need it, if you want it to, by including uh, the element one. Get rid of the screens. You know what, for the state anim, well, we need to make two animations, one for the casting of it, if we make it a skill, and then one for the state anim. But for now, I'm just gonna do the state animation. That'll work. We're going to batch the entire thing and make it really small, 25%. Yeah. And we'll put it on position head. For now, I'm going to make an item called um, um, something mirror. We're going to call it Devin's mirror. And when we use Devin's mirror, it's going to apply, let's see, one person, one ally, 
uh, always it is consumable applies hold up a mirror and show the enemy their own flaws and it applies a state elemental reflect to whoever used it and it should play an animation as well we'll take this and that is uh, animation 190 we'll go to this state and call this 190 we really should since we made a skill make an animation for the the usage of it as well look at discord please okay what are you what is going on oh my god it's amazing this is the best dinosaur ever. This deserves broccoli. You could put this in art museum. What I'm working on or default is fine as well. Toasty putting out another tutorial. Guys, go check out Toasty. Show him some love. This guy's very young and very ambitious and very talented. He's a cool little dude. Alright, let's make an animation for Elemental Reflect. I used Flash, I think, so I could do the same thing. And we'll call this Devin's Mirror. And I changed it to, I forgot, it was like Protect or something. Yeah, this one. We can get rid of the screen, flashes. Change the animations. I mean the uh, sound effects. That'll work. Get rid of the last flash too. And then we'll apply Devin's mirror to Devin's mirror. And let's give the party Devin's mirror at the beginning of the game to test it out. Because we made an item, we made a state, we made a skill. We need to test it out by changing some items, giving the party that item, a bunch of them. I can get rid of the soul stones now. Michael Posada, how are you doing? Doc Wheeze, what's up, my dude? Shatter effect for lay reflect. Should make me sell these items, the mirror and the strange liquid. I'm li I'm thinking of letting the player craft them. Maybe the mirror will be like you have to buy it from Devin because it's called Devin's mirror, and it does the reflect, and it's be super expensive because it's reflecting like all the friggin' damage. We can use it outside of combat, right? Good. Does it wear off from walking? I may need to change some things. Doesn't appear to, which I hope it doesn't. Okay, good. The state animation could come down a little bit. It's actually fine. It's above the player's head. We can make it on feet, 
All right, let's see if it's already on feet. If it's if it's already up there, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna mess with it. It is on head. Let's bring it to feet, and that'll bring it down quite a bit. So it'll be more right here. There's our state animation. So you can see we're reflecting using Devin's mirror, and all the elements except for physical should be reflected, right? Let's test it, see if it actually works. Liquid breath, this should go back. Hey, look, it reflected. Check that out. That worked amazing. Yenfly's element core is spectacular. I've, I've shouted this plugin out since its creation. Did you see that? He got hit by his own move. Twice, because it hit both people in the party. If he had more members, he would just kill himself. Let's have him do it as other abilities. He has a physical attack, so kickback, this shouldn't actually reflect, yeah, because that's physical damage. But his other move, the Viper Bite one, should... This is gonna kill him. I'm gonna not attack with with Edmund 3R... Uh, 3R-OKF1. He's a cyborg version of Edmund. He's super powered. I'm just gonna guard. This will not reflect, because it's physical damage. But his other moves will. He needs to get some TP to use his other moves, so that's fine. Now he's got 30. He should be able to use it at a lower rate. But he can still use that kickback as well. Viperine tail. Viperine didn't reflect. It should have, though. Did I not set the state or the skills? I made it chaos and the type six chaos. Oh, I think I know what's going on. In order for it to reflect, Devin, it can't be a physical attack. Reflect element. Oh, the mirror effect disappeared. It wore off. That must have been what it was. Physical attack. Okay, I'm thinking it, it won't reflect physical attack, but I, I hope it does. Maybe it just wore off. Let me just, I need to test that again. Let's go to item. This should also be changed. It shouldn't be screen. Liquid breath. Boom. Hit yourself. Right. Animations on this one. Not screen. We'll just make that center. Fix that little bug. Viperine tail. Here, this should reflect, right? It does. It just wore off. Nice! On the mirror effect, can you make it have a limit on usage, like it can reflect 5 to 8 attacks? Probably with the buff state's core, Devin. But, I don't know, I think you're, you're uh, asking more than is required. You can already limit how many turns it can last, right? So I think... That way it's not OP too much. Well, to make it less OP... You, um, you make it last less long. Like, maybe it only lasts three turns, but I made it last five turns, but I'm also going to value it at a high uh, cost. So in order to get this five turns of reflect, I also made it so that it cannot reflect physical, and in order to make it less OP, I will re reduce the, the things that it's reflecting. Um, like, maybe it doesn't reflect chaos damage. Um, or it doesn't reflect everything. It'll only reflect like fire, ice, and lightning, and like elements. Or you can limit it that way other than the number of types. But you probably can make it limit, limited to the number of attacks if you want to add a bunch of buff states core code. But if you want to keep it simple, just limit the number of turns and limit the things that it's actually reflecting. 
I can see it on another. I have four monitors up right here. I can see it on another monitor. Ekamin. It's the, the yell here. I'll bring it up so everyone can see it. Yes, yes, yes. To give you. You worked hard on your art. You want people to see your art. Oh, you didn't put it in an art museum. Oh, what? You take it down? What happened? Oh, you took it down. Why'd you take it down? Why'd you ask me to look for it? And then you take it down right when I bring it up. There it is. I like this one too. Don't be ashamed of your artwork. It's fantastic. Speaking of that, it's time for us to ace bright. We're gonna ace bright us. A 48 by 48 dinosaur. I have no idea what I'm gonna draw. Let's find a palette for our dinosaur. The dino's been hitting the gym. <laughs> He's got those back muscles, you see that? <laughs> What color are we gonna make our dinosaur? Like a brown red, maybe. Hmm.
I'm not sure what it is, but it's supposed to be a dinosaur. There it is, ladies and gents. <clears throat> There's our dino. It's an alien that will raid your town. It looks more like an alien. Yeah, it does. I'll give you that. We're going to save this as DG underscore alien dino. 
also going to export it as a sprite sheet, but we need to add some layers or uh, frames. I'll tell you how to, I'll show you how to make your 48 by 48 into a sprite sheet. If you use a sprite, you just export sprite sheet and you go um, by rows in three columns and it'll give you 144 by 192 and you output it as a .png and we'll call this sheet. Export that and it gives you that. If you wanted to animate it, you would have this one look different, this one. And I have a tutorial on how to animate it, so I won't go into full details on that. But once you have that, you can go into game, open folder. Do we already have it open? <clears throat> Let's do it again, game, open folder. Go to where you saved it, copy the sprite sheet, go into your game's IMG characters, paste it in, and you'll have to give it a, another name. At the beginning of it, give it an exclamation and a dollar sign. And then you can have dinosaurs running around. Let's make a new event here. Dino Alien. Turn into a sprite sheet and give, please. Okay, well it's a sprite sheet now. There's our Dino Alien. You see him in game? He's not animated, but he's he still can move around. Or she. And there's Jeff here too. What's up, Jeff? We got Jeff and Dino Alien. Ecoman, this is free for commercial use. You could put this in your project. Just, you know, give me credit. Say, don't claim that you made it because it's too awesome for anyone else to claim. It's, it's the best dinosaur sprite ever made. I'm going to make this available for free in Art Museum. Just go to Discord and... Go to the art museum, wherever I put the art museum. Du, 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 du. And I'm going to include it free for commercial use. There it is. You just click on it, you click on show or open original, you right click and you save as and you put it inside your IMG characters folder. And then you can load it into your game. Oh. Take mine? <laughs> Don't use that abomination, use mine instead. Okay, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Toast. You know what's funny, Toast? Your anatomy is off. <laughs> I refuse to accept your reality. So you click on open original, and then over here you right click it and you save image as, and then you can put it inside your game's IMG characters. I'm going to put it in here for now because I'm going to load it. Where did you get this dinosaur from though?
You could put that in your game, but I don't know if I have the rights to use it. If you find other art, you could. It's easy to do that. You take the art. Where did I save it? I just saved it. Huh? Oh, I know where I saved it. Okay, so file open. I saved it inside the IMG maybe use folder, right? So I'm not going to put this in my game, but I'm going to show you how you could take something like this and put it in your game. It's huge, right? So what we're going to do is use the magic eraser and erase the background so it's transparent. Then we're going to take the image and change the image size to 48 by 48. We can zoom in. And now we've got an amazing sprite. And you take this and you copy it and you can paste that. Um, you need to have three by, was it 142 by 196 uh, image canvas size. You increase it. 144, so it's 48 times 3, 144, and then you go 48 times 4 for 192. Go like that. You take this guy, you move him. Into his box. Now my grip, my pixel grids are on 32 by 32. So if you don't have that set up, you can go to preferences, guys, grids and slices, and set this up. We're going to 48 here. So he's inside his box. And you basically hold Alt and you move it, and you can move him up like this. Hold Alt and you move it, and you can move him down like this. And you do the same thing. Up, hold Alt, left click, middle, down. And then you could just essentially copy this, hold Alt. All right now you can't hold Alt. But you can paste it on this layer. And then you can highlight this and move this down. And then you can hold Alt on this and bring that down, right? And then we can file, save this as a PNG, and call this probably copyrighted Dino, but it's such a low res, no one would ever know. But my morals keep me from using it in the final edition anyway, Dino version 1A dot PNG and we put that inside IMG characters, but we have to put something in front of it. So we hit F2 and we go to home and we type dollar sign or we put exclamation point dollar sign and we save it there. Okay, and then we can create a new event, and we find it wherever it's at. Here it is, and we have another dino. This one kind of animates. He doesn't really animate, he just like bobs up and down as he moves around. I didn't tell him to move, did I? No, he's gotta be stepping, random, fast, normal, fast, higher. Put him over here.
And there's our dinosaur! Iku man, I know. <laughs> I'm just showing a tutorial on how you can take almost any image and turn it into a sprite. We're off by one pixel. You see the little line above him? On one of these, we moved him too far up or too far down, so we would have to remove them and resave it to fix that. But you see how we made a little hoppy dinosaur? He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Alright, Iku. Now this one is awesome. This one's amazing. Let me make it a sprite sheet for you. So we click on it, open original. Pay attention because you're gonna make you're gonna need to do this yourself. You save the image as. This is by when you credit someone, it also helps to have their name in a text file or and or uh, put their name on the file itself, right? So you made this one. So I'm gonna put your name in the file. Iku Man Original Design dot PNG. And we're gonna save that and maybe use in a folder that we're actually not going to reference in the game. We're just going to reference in our image editing software. Okay, so we can close this one now. And we're going to open that one up. So inside of IMG, maybe use this where you just find it wherever you put it. Here's yours. Now what we're going to do is take this image, make sure it has a transparent background, which it already does. We can use Magic Eraser to do that. And we're going to go to Image, Size. And we're going to reduce the image size to 48 by 48. But you know what we should do first? You, you don't want to pixelate it too much. So you can select a, a piece of it so that it's like right in the box. But this is okay, we'll leave it open like this so you have, it has space to move around and we'll fake animate it. We'll image size this into a small little pixel version of itself, 48 by 48, bang. We can press control space and left click to zoom in. There's our super small version of it. And then we're gonna take this, we're gonna copy it. And then we can image resize again. But we're gonna canvas, canvas size to pixels. And we're gonna go 144 by 192, is that right? Why do I always doubt myself? 192, bang. Perfect. And we already set up our grids. So I know that we can just press control paste and move our dude over here. And at the left, we'll have him to the left, like so. Gotta select the right layer, move this guy. Here, holding Alt, I'll move him again. And what I was talking about, that pixel that sticks out, if any pixels go in between the border, like across the border, then you have to delete it, right? So what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll just select everything. and I press Control C, and then I press Control V. That pastes it, but that lets me move it. And it only picked two because there was only two on that layer, but that's fine.
and we've got our sprite. We're going to save this as a PNG. We're going to call it Ecoman Original Design, but we have to go exclamation mark dollar sign Ecoman Original Design dot PNG. And we're going to put this inside IMG characters. Dang. Close this. Let's make another dinosaur in here. We go to image and it should be there. Right? We find the bottom where the exclamation. And look, we have your design as a sprite sheet. Let's look at it in game. There you go, you come in. Your, your dinosaur is now an MV sprite. It's not moving, but it should be. We just gotta make it random, make it step, make it move faster and higher. Go, 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 go. That'll work. At least make a mirror effect. <laughs> I mean, we could do a mirror effect since it has, it's facing a clear direction. But I need to open up a frame of reference now. Down, left, right, up. So left, so this one will make the mirror effect. So we can go here, oops, select this selection. I'm gonna merge these layers first. We go free transform, we right click and we flip horizontally. Say okay. And then we save this as the original, right? So we hit save so we're not like having to do anything else. It, it should update. So when we go in here and we double click this again, we may have to save the project and reload this. You have to reload the engine when you do it this way. Or you can have it, um, it should, when it loads the data, it should move up back and forth though, even though it doesn't show it. It's just a bug in the engine. It should, is it not doing it? Okay. I think I overwrote your original one, but we can download that from, from uh, the Discord again. Anyway, yeah, I, up, I overwrote the original one in here. That's fine. We'll go to IMG characters, select this one and overwrite this one. Yes. Cause there we go. We can close this now. We can close this. Close this. I've already saved changes. We can close this. Nope. We can close this. Okay. Bang. Now if we look in here, like I said, that's that's a bug. But it should work now. See how it's going the other direction? There he goes. Down and up will still look like he's facing left and right though. Come on, move down or up. There you go. Moving up, he faces right. And moving down, he faces left. And he sort of animates. It sort of animates. Silver, what do you mean you're sheeping your way out the chat? I don't get it. Deep Mala, welcome back. I am Iku back. What do you mean Iku back? I don't know what that means. Is it your other account or something? Iku man? Deep Mala Tarjea, Tardejea, you are you are eco man. Okay, I believe you because if you were trying to impersonate him, you would probably just make your icon exactly the same and na ex name exactly the same because people can do that. It's your mother's account. Well, anyway, let me give you the sprite. I turned your artwork, your beautiful dinosaur, into an MV sprite, and I'm gonna make it available to people. 
Hopefully you're okay with people using this in their game, because it's going to be... Bang! Now you just click on it, open original, right click, save as, put it in your IMG characters folder, and you have your dinosaur that you made inside your MV game. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> you told me to take your dinosaur. I made it into a sprite sheet for you. Guys, that's where I gotta end the stream. Hopefully we learned new stuff, got inspired to work on our project, and solved world hunger. Uh, and other amazing things on our stream. We only died about 20 times. Thank you, internet. Thank you, I really appreciate that, ISP, for dropping me a thousand times in the stream. But whatever, I'm gonna make the best with what I've got, even if that is terrible internet. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate you putting up with all the shenanigans and the newbie tutorials and all the other stuff. I need to remove this sprite because I don't know where Toasty got that dinosaur. Tomorrow you're going to show a video on your game? Cool. Post it on the self-promo so people can see it. Should look at the question. Uh, the weight one? Okay, hold up. I still haven't found a good answer to, to that. Everything should weigh the same. Just look at my last question. Uh, body's falling. Body's fall just seeing that dino too godly for himself. The stream makes the day great. Oh, thanks, Devin. Uh, it's a dino hit in the gym. Your last question... Anybody here seen Djibouti dubs? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Djibouti dubs. I don't know what that is. Stream went extinct just like the dinos. Michael Posada. That's savage. That's savage, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Everybody who came to the stream, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Everybody who has been backing me on Patreon.com slash Drift with Gaming, that's always supported. That's always, uh, I feel so supported by, by you guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, Twitter.com slash Drift with Gaming is um, my Twitter handle. I'm at Drift with Gaming. You can follow me if you like to. Twitch.tv slash Drift with Gaming. I don't really stream on Twitch very often, but uh, if you want to follow me there, that's where I am. Um, I mainly stream here on YouTube. 10 a.m. to noon, Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Come hang out tomorrow. We're going to do some more shenanigans. And it's going to say dinosaur stream tomorrow because I always post the art that I made the day before on the thumbnail and stuff. And but Because yesterday was the cheese, right? So you have to look at yesterday's episode if you actually want to find the live game cheese. It was like an hour and a half of making cheese stuff. So today was all on dinosaurs. I, you know what? I never know what I'm going to do on the stream. It's always fun interacting with... I couldn't plan the episodes if this wasn't live. I can't plan this. This is just live interaction thing. It's such a different animal, and it's so cool. So thank you guys for coming. I really do appreciate it. If you want to come hang out before and after the streams, we have a Discord. The link is in the description below. Remember to stay awesome, guys. Keep working on your projects, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Heartless Angel, Char Charizaniko, Devin Scott, Deep Mala Tardigia. Royal Crown Code. Silver Starlight. Catrick Abarea. Abel Abalera. Abalera? Abayera. Is it like the Spanish double L? Where it sounds like a Y? Abayera? Or Abalera? Abelera. Abelera. Anyway, however you pronounce it, sorry I butchered it. Everybody who came to the stream, Ecomin, Omni Slash, YT, the names, Michael Posada, you're savage, bro. T Bone, thanks for coming. Heartless. Everybody I miss, Doc Wees. Everybody I miss, thanks for coming. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah, I don't stream on the weekends. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to noon Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.